We normally take one question from you as well every day in Creek Bus Chatter and we've got one for you too which is Sumit Nagotkar is saying one thing that has remained constant through the tough times has been his fitness it was visible in his knock. What does it take to achieve this level of fitness? You're what, three years older than him? Three, four years yes. older than him? Three, four years? Three years, I think. You can, whatever, you're older than him. And you have maintained a wonderful level of fitness yourself. So what does it take as you go past a certain age to maintain that level of fitness? Number one, and the first word that I'll put, the adjective discipline. Consistency. So I'm no chance. <laughs> okay, go on. But we're talking, we talking 30 something. No, 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 don't go on. I thought you're about to comment on my age. So don't go on. Tell me about 30 something. Asha, you have to understand, you're very disciplined in your field of work. Fitness <laughs> isn't the paramount need for you. Yeah. But for cricketers, you know, it's uh, it's discipline. Yeah. Second thing, fitness is not about just and only hitting the gym or running. It's a lifestyle. So what you put into your mouth is as important as the amount of workouts and running you do. And that is where Virat Kohli is brilliant. He was a foodie. He used to enjoy all sorts of fatty foods, sweets, just like all of us. But he's put a massive cut on all of that so that he can become the cricketer he wants to be. And that's the sacrifice you need to make. Have a look at the bigger picture and say, if this is what I want to be in five years' time and ten years' time, I need to cut down on certain things in my life that I'm doing right now. And that's the decision he's taken. You can see the results have followed. One way of finding that out is how long are you batting and how your body is allowing you to bat that long. But I think it is in the two that he takes... When he is in his 70s, 80s on a hot day, which is not easy, he's still running a lot of twos, a lot of threes. Now, take a look at today's innings once again. When he got to 100, there were only five boundaries. Overall, in his innings of 169, only 60 runs have come from boundaries. We're not even counting the runs of his partner that he has run. On a very hot day, he's run all those runs. So, you may you may have your, all your thoughts on Virat Kohli. Some people love him to death. Some people love him a little less or whatever. But nobody can deny that the transformation of Virat Kohli from the chubby West Delhi boy to this wonderful, sculpted, extremely fit person is a story of fantastic also, determination. It's also a great case of not giving up because when he's had his bad run, things not going his way. The one thing he consistently kept doing is training and eating well, training and eating well. So there are so many moments during that time when his mind could have said, it's okay, I'll do something that probably you would like before, stay happy. But he's given up on that, sacrificed on that, hoping that there will be one day when that will come to use. And these are the kind of days when he's batting on 130, 140, he needs to take that quick single. Yes, Sumesh Adam didn't help him today. But on most other days, he's been running those quick twos and threes. And then and, and that invisible work that you put when no one is watching and you believe what's the point doing it, these are the days that comes to fruition. Mm -hmm.